Alrighty guys, Five Islanders back again with another video. Uh, don't forget to follow, uh, join our Discord and Roblox group. Link for those will be in the description. So we're back at it again uh, with scripting videos. Uh, kind of haven't done those in a while, but uh, getting a lot of ideas from people of what they wanted to see. So one of the simplest ones that we could do just right off the bat was somebody wanted uh, camera bobbing effects. So you can kind of see when the difference would be if I were like zoom in you can kind of see well my camera kind of going side to side there a little bit more of a realistic feel to it I guess um, kind of kind of mess around with it to really see how you like with the uh, distance of side to side how you want it to be but it's uh, it's just a one very simple script now as for like, if you're asking about the settings or anything that I've done that was just a bunch of other stuff I did so we're going to get right into that now. You can either have it R6 or R15. A very simple way to fix that. I just have mine R15. So let's get right into that. So to start off here, I'm just going to go ahead and start a character scripts. And I'm going to right click, insert object, local script. I don't know. We'll just call this camera bob. And yeah, just call it that. Get rid of hello world. Oh, did not want to get rid of the whole script. So I'll just undo that erase hello world and now we're just going to start with local run service don't forget that capital s is going to equal game colon get service parentheses quotation marks inside quotation marks run service Then you're going to have local, well, we're going to have, this is going to be the characters variable, so I'll just go ahead and just, just straight up call it character. Will then be equal to script.parent. Then our humanoid, which is inside of our character, is going to also call it humanoid. It's going to be equal to our character. Then I'm going to go colon wait for child. I want it to find something and I want it to know that it's in there. So there you go, humanoid. So our humanoid is now recognized as humanoid within the character. So function, let's just call it Bob. Oh, didn't spell function right. B O B Bob. Or Actually, I think there's an actual phrase for this, but eh, just Bob. Then I'm going to go local current time is equal to a tick. Parentheses. Then if our humanoid dot move direction dot magnitude is greater than zero then we want that to be our ne and then we're going to have some variables again uh, why does it say my humanoid is not spelled right what's going on here okay i just don't know why it's not recognizing humanoid What's the deal? Variable humanoid defined as a line five is never defined at line is never What? Oh, I didn't I didn't I didn't put an equal sign. So there there's a hey, mistakes. Okay, so back to what we're doing. Local I'm just gonna call these bobbles. Bubble x equal math dot cos current time times, which is the, I believe that's an asterisk, 10 times uh, 0.25. Then local bubble y equal to math dot abs math with the in parentheses dot si uh, sine sin whatever freaking cosine sine we're going to trigonometry here people 
current time asterisk 10 then outside of those parentheses and other times space 0.25 uh, I'm actually going to kind of go up here and I'm going to change the name of the function because I actually think that this matters, but just in case, just in case, so local bubble will be now equal to vector three dot new bubble x comma bubble y and then there's the just comma zero humanoid dot now here's the part where we go to offsetting said camera to left and right so we're gonna have dot camera offset now equal to our humanoid dot camera offset colon now I don't really understand what this was but uh, it's like I don't really know what that is but it was just part of what I had to do so bubble comma point two five and then else humanoid kind of the same thing we're writing here camera offset equal to humanoid dot camera offset times now this is the part where you kind of want to do eh. I mean these are the these are the two numbers that you kind of want to like like all these kind of want to mess with but I mean I, I, we're, we're gonna test and see what we can all mess with to do the realistic bobbing effect so I'm just going to go ahead and put it at like 0.75 for that. And, oh wait, I guess I have more than enough ends there. And then right below all the ends, run service dot render stepped colon connect to our function, which we have then called update bubble effect there we go we're gonna go in here and we're gonna test it now and as you can see everything should be working properly I am now going side to side now I'm going to mess with said numbers and see what happens I'm gonna change my point two five to well, let's go way overward and just call it a 0.95 and see what the drastic change is right there. Kind of like, well, bobbing, like, very in, like, a minimal... It's like if there was a line here and then a line there, I'm like, da -da 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 like, pong, so... What if I increase you to, like, zero five and then increase you to 95 what happens then well kind of nothing really so gonna revert everything back to the way it was and there you go that is how we do our camera bobbing effect so if you got any questions, comments, concerns, any ideas that you want to see us do videos on, please let us know in the comments below. You can give us a like and a sub, and we will see you all again in our next posted videos.